being in the process of awakening will be messy with his face down in the mud. That's what he looks like. Right? Because we get better at diving into things we haven't figured out yet. Diving into spaces that would make other people afraid. And that used to scare us as well. And over time, we'll, we'll master it. Because you can't get to a level of self-mastery unless absolutely every particle of your spaces, of your being, have been activated. So, whenever you feel that, oh, I don't know how to do this, or something takes over, it's simply one of those spaces. And it's absolutely necessary for your awakening that you embrace it and let it mature. Just breathing when you feel that I'm losing it now, it's fine. You never do. All you can lose is illusion. You know, it's almost like truth cannot be harmed by anything. And that's a, such an important principle also when we look at this need to protect ourselves. It's only lies that need protection, only illusion, because that will be harmed by truth. Truth is, it cannot be influenced by anything. It cannot be harmed. Truth never needs protection. It's the other way around. So, you know, when we feel, oh, I need protection from the world, it's basically because you're full of it. And your ego is telling you, yeah, we should stay that way because we have our own truth, right? You can have your own little club inside of you and you want, you know, no access for anyone else. You need to know the secret code. But it's that, that's what you want to protect. Every time we have this idea that we need to protect ourselves from the world, it's because the ego is afraid of losing its grip. You can never be harmed by truth. But truth will always chip away on whatever it is you are holding on to that is not true. Which is everything. And that's why it hurts. That's why the ego creates stories that we need protection. What we learn over time is to not only allow it, but open ourselves up to it. You know, we, we seek the sledgehammers of life because we know that the only thing that can happen is that illusion is beaten out of us. I've compared this to the swordsmith or the sword maker. You know, that the spiritual journey for real is really about two stages. One, being heated up to the level where you start melting. Number two, everything is beaten out of you. And that's basically, you know, what the swordsman is doing is using the hammer to, you know, beat the metal. And each time it gets pure, it gets harder, it gets sharper. And in the beginning, because the identity is still in the impurities, the metal has not become pure metal yet. There's a lot of beating and back and forth between the oven, you know, and the workshop. But over time, when this happens, you start recognizing, oh, I'm not just metal. I'm about to become a sword. And the identity changes. 
and you know and you understand that the only way to get to the highest level of purity is to remove everything that is impure. And still, every beat of the hammer hurts. It never stops hurting. And that's okay. But you know it's necessary. And you identify with the purity of your own essence. And over time, you become the sword. And all you want is to be as sharp as possible. And you couldn't care less what it takes. So we can't be afraid of imbalance. We can't be afraid of what life is doing to us. What life is, you know, how life is detoxifying and purifying us by taking away everything we hold on to. Our concepts, our thoughts, manifestations, whatever it is. Whenever something is taken away, it's because it represents an impurity that is holding you back from being your full potential. That is the spiritual process. No posing will help. Trying to impress others will not help. Telling yourself stories will not help. Wanting to be saved will not help. The journey is one of purification. It is not because you are not good enough. It's taking away what is not you. Because it's only when you reach that level of purity that you are your full potential. And you are in that total, absolute, and sharp state. But part of the awakening is that we start to understand that this is happening. It doesn't happen by itself, and it doesn't happen by us holding on to impurities. They have to go. And it doesn't happen just by saying, oh, well, I let go. It doesn't happen that way. That is a mindset, but it does not mean that the job is done. If you look at a piece of metal, and the piece of metal says, well, I let go of my impurities, nothing happens. It's a process, it's a work process between what is becoming the sword blade and the smith. You and life. As I said, it still hurts. But every, you know, beat from the hammer brings you closer to what you are instead of what you think you are and what you believe you are. Thank you.